So today I'm here to announce a new partnership between Boating BC, the voice of recreational boating in the province, uh, Vancouver Fraser Port Authority, and BC Ferries. And beginning today in British Columbia, we're going to have a joint advertising campaign that's been made possible by Transport Canada. Reminding recreational boaters that we truly do share our waterways and that there are ongoing rules and significant rules in our waterways. Just like driving a car, there's rules of the road. On the water, there's rules of the, of the waterways. And to be clear, if we don't understand those rules and don't adhere to those rules, there can be significant consequences and serious consequences uh, for ourselves and our families. At the Vancouver Fraser Port Authority, it is our responsibility to ensure the waterway is safe for all users. And that's why this campaign is so important. And it is so important that you be prepared, be safe, and have fun while you're on the water. Follow the local rules, be familiar before you head out onto the water. As we can see, we live in probably one of the most beautiful areas in the world. And having been around the world, having had a chance to see that as a mariner, I now get to come home to, to this. And it's of, of no surprise to any of us mariners that people would want to be out here on the waterways. At BC Ferries, our priority is safety. And that includes our employees, that includes our passengers, but that includes the general public as well. And so that extends to other boaters that we interact with. If there's any message that I think we would like to get out to the general public regarding boating safety, it definitely has to do with understanding what other people see of you. So what I mean by that is if I'm in a small boat, everything I do affects another boat that's around me, whether you know it or not. And part of the skill of learning to be uh, able to use these waterways safely is to start to understand how other people see you. So an example of that would be if you're going through a busy area, say in the southern Gulf Islands, where beautiful cruising areas, lots of great ports to visit, but lots of ferry traffic as well. And I was on the bridge of the vessel this morning on the way over to Vancouver from Victoria, speaking with the master and talking about what they actually experience on a daily basis. What's it like? How do they interact with the vessels? What do they see uh, regularly? And that's it. It's most commonly small boating uh, um, traffic who just don't necessarily always have a good sense of, of what it's like to be on that larger vessel. Um, and unfortunately, you don't always get the chance to be on the bridge of another vessel, so it's, it's quite rare to, to have that. But having the ability to project yourself to see what it would be like to be on that vessel and understand that if you're in a large vessel in those small waterways, you have to be very cautious and very careful. Thank you for watching today's story. We'll see you next time.